when I when I was in school, like, and I, I went to St. John's University, and you got to remember, I was getting um some aid, but not enough. So a lot of that money I was paying for myself, and I was still in a hood trap and doing whatever. But I wanted to put my school myself. I wanted something better. I was like, I'm not gonna just be stuck in the hood doing this forever. I wanted something more. So I was paying for some of that shit out, out of pocket. And I went to that school because I um at that age I bought a car, and I said. I didn't want to go to city school because I said, I want to drive this car that I trapped and bought and park it in that motherfucking parking lot and go to that school and do that. So I, I did that. And when I got opportunity to be in the music business, I said, fuck it and left all that shit. Like my last, I did like three years. So my last year I got all incompletes. It wasn't like I, no, I didn't get F's and shit. I just like said, fuck it. I'm gonna go make more money than all my teachers and fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I said, if it don't work, then I'll come back. And it worked, I ain't go back. So I don't wanna, you know, mislead the kids and just say that, but sometimes you gotta, whatever your dream may be, your passion may be, sometimes you gotta just say, fuck it and go for what you believe in. And at that time, people thought I was crazy. They was like, you gonna leave all this, you got one more year to go, why? And I had all this that wasn't even 100% promised to me. I just believed in myself and I was like, I just felt I was that nigga. And I said, fuck it. And I went, I dropped all of that shit and got, just went, I just left. All the money that we paid, but I think I left like in the beginning of the semester. I just finished paying for all of that shit. I said, fuck it, man, I'm going to do rap. And however I gotta do that, I'm gonna do that. If I could talk to a young rap, I would tell him, slow down, pay attention and learn the business. I would think I was too wild when I first came in the game. I'm running around. I was plus I was kind of like hood. I still had a street mentality, not realizing this is business. It ain't the hood. I'm still running around with the hammer and doing all this other shit in the hood still. Meanwhile, business is over here brewing, and you're not even you're not even fully engulfing yourself in this shit because you're too busy with all this other shit. And I was mad, disrespectful to a lot of people that I'm actually cool with now. Like as a matter of fact, when I grew up in the game and met some of these niggas later, I, I apologize to these some of these dudes as a as a mature person, like, you know, when I came and I was kind of fucked up to you, I could be man enough to say my bad. Niggas like, nah, we understand it happens to all of us. You know what I'm saying? So when I came in the game, I was hella rude. I didn't want to do no features. I didn't want to fuck with nobody. I was like, I'm the best, fuck all you. I'm about to shit on everybody because I'm better than everybody. And I just came in with that mentality. And I, I was real, I was like Alpo in Paid in Full. And he was like, what's the purpose of having all this power and all this money and all these gangsters if you can't use it? So that was kind of like my attitude, you know what I'm saying? Like when I seen that movie, I related to that, like, oh yeah, I know that mentality well. So I would tell the young grab, just just chill. Just analyze what you, analyze the game and learn from it. You can't just look at motherfuckers as targets. Some of these people you can learn from or learn how to coincide with and work with. I didn't want to coincide with shit. That's why I understand 50. We from the same type of neighborhood. Same like when he first came in the game, he had that attitude, like, like fuck everybody, because that's just you know how New York City, how Queens grooms you, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of came in like super like that, you know what I'm saying? So I would just tell young grad, focus more on the business and just chill. Cause I definitely wasn't focused on that. I was just making niggas nervous, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, word. I used the first Swiss beat for anybody that don't know. I was the first one to ever use a Swiss beat on the first Locks album, All For The Love. That's the first Swiss beat ever known to the world. Like we shot away, we we jumped on a plane, we went to Bahamas, we got one room, we doubled up, you know what I'm saying? We was just writing hard body, the ocean was behind us, and I remember us being up all night. As far as Run DMC, Down with the King, when you're working on a song, sometimes the, you, it, it doesn't meet its standards, and you have to keep working on it and keep working on it, and that's what we did. And we kept working on it and kept working on it until the song became what it was, what it is now. So the 151 is hitting her asshole and other girls just like licking the shit. And next thing you know, the girl just starts screaming like, ah, ah, ah. I guess the shit was burning. 